punish the wicked. And the best story for that comes of Frau Holler. Frau Holler? I've heard of her. Is she not the one who leads an entire group of ghostly hunters in the woods? <laughs> she does not lead the wild hunt in my story. Where did you hear such nonsense? Fairies. Right. Then I'm glad I know a much better story about her. But she's a strange old thing, you known to live down at the bottom of a well. Yeah, 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 but let us not spoil any more surprises. Our story begins with a widow. No, oh, now wait a moment. Should I not be Frau Holler? I am magical. But we all know you are not a good witch. She's great. Uh, oh. <laughs> this widow had her daughter and a stepdaughter. The widow admired and doted on her daughter, but she was terribly idle and vague. Why do you think I need more beauty sleep? Yeah. Her stepdaughter was beautiful and industrious. Wait, we need someone to play the role of the good and virtuous stepdaughter. There are no little girls in the crowd. That is unfortunate. Oh, I got a volunteer. I didn't want to bother you. The poor stepdaughter was forced to do all the work in the house. Sweep the floors. Clean the dishes. Spin the yard. Whom the young girl had to spin the yard. By a well. Well, well, well. And one day she tricked her finger and dropped the spindle into the well. Knowing that her stepmother would be furious, she jumped down into the well to retrieve it. When she got to the bottom, she was in a lovely meadow that bloomed with thousands of flowers. And as she traveled through the meadow, she came across a strange cottage with a strange old woman. What? With an old woman. What? With a mysterious woman. <laughs> she was scared at first. Let her scream on through her. One, two, three. <laughs> but the old woman said, There's nothing to be afraid of, child dear. Stay with me, and if you do all the housework properly, you should be better for it. Be extra sure to make the bed and shake them thoroughly. So the feathers fly, for that is when it snows on earth. I am proud of Holla. Whom the young girl did so. She learned to bake delicious bread, picked apples from the orchard nearby, and made extra sure to make the bed and make the feathers fly. And Frau Holler gave her kind words, good meals, and a pleasant life while she stayed. But soon it was time for the young girl to go home. It is time for thee to go home. I shall show thee the way. And Frau Holler took the young girl to a door, and when they reached it, a shower of golden coins fell upon them. This is the reward for my service for being so industrious, a wonderful guest in my home. And she thanked Frau Holler, and she returned to the normal world. <laughs> Then the young girl left her wicked stepmother and stepsister with all the gold she got. Round of applause for the little girl. Yay!